arrived here in Tucson Lazy Days KOA. Really like this park. It's nice and clean. I did have to put one block down. The big rigs have crushed the ground. So it's not as level as it used to be. However, walking into the RV to make sure it's leveled, and this is what I use, and I put it right here. Okay, washing machine is open. And lordy lordy, the, ref the refrigerator must have opened. And all the stuff fell out. Okay. Time to start picking stuff up. Well, at least nothing broke. That's the good thing. <laughs> Number. Both sides to a hundred. Right. <sighs> at the door this I'm not setting up just let it sit there for the next three days all right our next stop is Kingman KOA and if I were to go the speed limit which I don't it's gonna take five hours so I add another hour and a half and check-in time there is a 12 so if I check in at 12, it gives me a longer rest period. So I would have to leave here at 6. You know what? I'm already awake. So 5.36, I can just pull out. Since I'm not setting up sewer, I've just got to pull water, electric, and I've got two leveling blocks. The KOA here, you need a password for their Wi-Fi. So instead of trying to figure that all out, we're going to set up Starlink. So it's one more thing I got to tear down tomorrow. Okay, we need our phone. Okay, this is how I set up Starlink. First we go outside. Turn on the app, go to utilities. Go to utilities and then compass and we find magnetic north which is over there. Okay, so Starling's going to have to go over here on this side okay this is magnetic north that way however satellite north is just east of it so it's going to point over here 30 degrees the wires are all in here right now uh. there which there's a connection I drilled a hole into the rig and I will show you where this exit it exits on Walter's side of the nightstand or entrance Plug it in again. Make sure it's leveled. Uh, and set it up again. Okay, 
this is the actual what do you call it <laughs> anyway it's the internet this is the actual internet <sighs> so it's not plugged in put it over here that side and there's a plug I had Airstream put in a plug over here on the side of the nightstand there is a plug here However, I wanted it to be concealed. So there is a plug on this side of the, the nightstand because of our sleep number bed. But it just so happened that this plug is very convenient for Starlink. So I plug it in. The light underneath should come on. And Starlink. Since we're here only overnight and the restrooms are over here we're gonna check out the restrooms to see what the shower conditions are really should unplug this We are site 1533. It's a nice long pull through. It's at least 60 feet, I would say. Concrete. They got this pebbly stuff all over the place, which is nice. And again, all these A classes have crushed the soil. It used to be level at one time, but not it's not so bad so nice spacious they have fruit trees they have orange they have olive lemons and you're 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 allowed to pick them if you want them so I picked four four lemons anyway back to the site pebbly stuff nice and clean Fifty amps, good water pressure, sewer. Not setting up sewer. Again, I'm only here for one night. Other than the bidet for the water, brush teeth, wash hands. I'm not setting up the sewer. And let's go check out the bathroom. And we're conveniently located not too far from the other pool, which has restrooms here. Oh, they have laundry over here. You know, they have a laundry room over here. Two fifty to wash and two dollars to dry. Oh, dollar seventy five for the smaller one, two dollars for the big one. And they have a change machine conveniently located. The women's restroom.
Okay, they just have a hook. They have nowhere else. Okay, I'm gonna need a bag to put on my stuff. From the 10 freeway, when we're when you're going around Phoenix, just before the 202 circle loop around Phoenix, at that interchange, there's a casino on the left and then a big Petro truck stop station on the right. So take that exit, fill up, so that way you can make it up around Phoenix without having to look for a gas station. And possibly make it to, no, not gonna make it to Kingman. Oh, 300 miles to, nope, I'm not gonna make it to Kingman without filling up again. All right, but that is my tip to myself because I'm gonna forget this. <laughs> we are at Kingman KOA. We are one more stop away from Las Vegas to the Las Vegas Airstream Club Holiday Rally in Boulder. Here in Kingman, we are in Space 94. It is a premium site. So it's actually very large. It's about 60 feet, I would say. Very ample space concrete patio I got a um, fire pit table and barbecue the reason I have this particular site is I was supposed to be here three nights this is where I was gonna do my essentially tear down emptying the, the tanks doing a black tank flush and start labeling everything that needs to be done to the airstream but it was cut short because of the airstream rally so i still have the premium site even though i'm only here for one night all right i'll show you the other side of this you got 50 amps water sewer hello good water pressure sewers over here we are not setting up sewer because again we're here one night and when we get to boulder it's full hookups and that's where i will drain the sewer <sighs> okay that's it for these two overnight parks and I haven't I've only set up Starlink so far I don't know if it's happy there or not north is over there but 30 degrees is over there so clear sky it should connect properly everything says unisex Okay, good. Uh -huh. And okay, shower's clean enough. Somewhere to shave my head. And it's right next to the rig. Right, thank you for watching. Bye. I did set up sewer because I want to cook dinner tonight, which means I've got to wash dishes and I'll probably run the, might as well do laundry since I have sewer set up and I'll just, instead of going to their restroom, I'll just use my own facilities to take a shower tonight. So we're going to go for our walk.
That's gonna look really nice at night. There's a guy putting up Christmas lights around his whole rig and it looks like he's got lights already in the ground. Okay, this is the KOA park. It is dirt. I would hate to be here when it's raining. It is clean. There's no... I don't see... I'm not seeing any dirt. Or I'm sorry. I'm not seeing any trash. Seem to have a lot of premium sites, which is nice. Oh, look at this one, it's got a dog park. Now, I have stayed here several nights before, and I've generally just booked these sites. Oh, here's some more with their own personal dog park. This is something new KOA is doing. Most of their sites here are pull-through. They do know they're a s overnight stop. I don't think I'm on the road anymore. I think I'm going through a site. <laughs> okay, I've stayed down here before, down this aisle. Someone else with a Starlink.